the followers of Ahlul Bayt know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mabarra, without any badan, without any jism. It doesn't have any dimensions because it's unlimited. We cannot actually bring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one jism or one thing because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we read in the Nahj al how Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam gave us the characteristic sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to come from the sky to the earth and will tell all the Muslims that how to walk on Salat al-Mustaqeem. This is the right path to go. That's why Allah created from his nur those two nurs which are going to bring the Muslims on the right path, on the correct path. And not even after Ali, the story is finished. After Ali alayhi salam, we all know that from his zurriya, there are 11 other imams going to come in. Till Imam Sahib al Asr was Zaman, Arwahuna Fada. And they are going to guide us how to be on to the right path, how to be on to the path of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Ihdina Sarat al Mustaqim, Sarat al Ladina Anam ta alayhim. On which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed all the bounties. An'amta alayhim ghayr al-maghdubi alayhim wa laddali. Not upon those. Don't guide us. Because there was some people in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who are the mizdaq of ghayr al-maghdub alayhim wa laddali. Will you keep Ahl al-Bayt alayhim wa salam ayadu billah I'm talking to you, I'm talking to those people through you that those people are you going to keep Al Bayt in Nawdu Billah in Ghayr al Maghdub? No. Then who? Who are the ones? Is Allah talking to only the disbelievers, the kuffar? No. Not only the kuffar. What about the munafiqs? What about those who damage the Islam? They try to destroy. The pillars of Islam. One of the most critical and vital pillar of Islam is Wilayat. If one is not on the Wilayat, he cannot reach to the Nabu at all, at all. Because if you don't step up on the first stair, how are you going to go to the top? Are you going to miss out that stair from that? And then try to jump onto that Tawheed? Come on. The Noor even which actually couldn't tolerate by Hazrat Musa alayhi, ala Nabi wa alayhi, went on to the Kuhitur, on the mountain of Tur. What happened to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam? He couldn't even tolerate that Noor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was Sahib al-Shariya, ul al-Azm, Peygamber ul al-Azm. And you, you the mullah who even cannot tolerate the love of Ahlul Bayt salam, even doesn't know the Quran very well, and you gonna go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly without wasila. It's a box of Ahlul Bayt. It's the envy they have got in their hearts from the beginning. Because their forefathers <laughs> had got the balls of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And the balls why with Ali ibn Abi Talib? Because of his shuja'a and ilm. Why Allah didn't give you? If you would have said in Alam al-Zar, you know, then you would have got that. But you didn't say, labbaik to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's up to Allah. Whoever he wishes to give that ilm and shuja'a, it's up to Allah. Are you going to fight with Allah? Why did you give to Ali ibn Abi Talib? And Ali ibn Abi Talib was the first mazloom. The way he lived after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. It was amazing, wallah. If somebody would be in place of Ali, would have been totally collapsed. Because everything, every single thing they have, tried to snatch from Ali ibn Abi Talib.
whatever Ali had, they snatched. They tried to obtain through different ways. One day in the Khalafa of the second one, whom our Sunni school of thought loves a lot, he went to the Hajj. It was his first Hajj. When he went to the Hajj, somebody actually came running to him and said, Oh, the second Caliph, I don't want to take the name. Uh, but somebody actually, not somebody, he said, Ali ibn Abi Talib hit me hard on my face. He slapped me badly. He said, there must be a reason that Ali ibn Abi Talib hit you. He gave you a slap. Because Ali never ever strike anyone without a reason. Because he must have got some reason that he slapped you. He said, okay, if you want the qadawa, I can go and ask Ali ibn Abi Talib, why did he hit you? But before that, can you explain it to me? Have you done anything wrong to Ali ibn Abi Talib? He said, yes, I was actually doing the tawaf and in, in between the tawaf, as soon as I reached the Hajar Aswad, there was a lady standing there and she was actually, her hand was on the Hajar Aswad and she was praying or kissing the Hajar Aswad. So I put my hand over to her hand. As soon as I put my hand over to the lady's hand, Ali ibn Abi Talib, gave me a big slap on my face. So he said, what's the problem? The Ainullah saw and the Yadullah gave you a slap on your face. So the decision is there, it's right. What the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw you doing and in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a slap. That are the wordings in the Sahasatta, Mawjood in one of the books of Sahasatta, the second caliph is telling that what the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw, the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a slap and that was a good thing he did. If I would be in place of him, I would have killed you because they had an intention all the time they are, they are you know, like in the anger to kill everyone. But thanks God that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because they used to sit with Rasulullah so Rasulullah used to calm him down all the time. Otherwise he would have killed the whole Muslim Ummah. There will be no one left over after Rasulullah. Because they were full of anger. They converted their religion at the very last stage of their life. And as soon as they converted, and the reason was conversion, we all know the Saqifa and all that history. However, I don't want to go, but that's the fact, that's the reality, and that's all in the histories of the books of our brothers at the Sunnah, as well as in Shia, it is found. So, that's how they try to behave with Ahlul Bayt alayhi And one of the narrations, and inshallah after that, I'll try to move on to Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. There are a few other narrations from Imam al Sadiq alayhi salatu wa salam. It is very, uh, you must have heard, very famous narration in, uh, written by the Rabi of his, uh, this narration is uh, Sheikh al Suduq. And it's an usul kafi. What it says is that Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Allah yuhibbuni O Ali Allah yuhibbuni Illa mu'min Wala yubghidhuni Illa munafiq That's a straight line Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Tracked it That Ali from you, no one is going to love except those who are believers, who are the ones who've got the Iman or the Wilaya. They are the ones who are going to love you. 
and no one is going to hate you except Munafiq. They must be saying, you know, Tabrik to you on several occasions on the day of Badir, but after that as well. But they have a hatred for you in their hearts all the time. They don't want to see you. And this is what the love of Ahlul Bayt on plenty of occasions Rasulullah have mentioned that love, love and love. Why there is a stress over love of Ahlul Bayt? Why there is a love? Because this is the first step and this is going to be the last step for those who wants to go to Tawheed without Ali. If, you're gonna, if you want to take the first step, then it will be good for you. You're going to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in actual, our scholar says, when you have a love of Ali ibn Abi Talib in your heart, that means you got the Tawheed in your heart. There's no need for any other thing. Because you're already doing something for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're already practicing something for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You already have a love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you have a love of Ali ibn Abi Talib. That will be enough for you. On plenty of occasions, ulama says that once once have a love of Ali ibn Abi Talib, which is the center of everything, this is actually a bacon, a light, which actually goes to Nubuwa and towards the Tawheed. This is the bacon. Imamat is the center. Bacon, like where the light actually flows and goes toward one towards Tawheed and one towards Nubuwa. If you're not going to come, your amal will be wasted. Absolutely will be wasted. There's no point to do the, you know, offer the prayers, performing the ibadah, the rituals. No. If you don't have a love of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And for sure, this is understandable that the love is going to gain you, is going to benefit you in your world and hereafter. Each single step you're going to take after this world will be asked you about the love of Adil Bayt. Every single step. They will ask you first about the namaz. Yes, I perform the namaz. Okay, your namaz has got the taqseer and such and such thing, but some of them are accepted. But do you love Ahlul Bayt? Were you on the wilay of Ali ibn Abi Talib? If yes, so of course, your amal is accepted. And it won't be like on that day you will be saying that no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I was misguided and something happened to me. I couldn't love Ali because of such and such person. No, only you, only you. Did you love Ali? Don't talk about others. Because your amal is going to be asked here only. Not anyone's amal. You're responsible for your amal. Have you loved Ali ibn Abi Talib? When they say, yes, I used to love Ali with the heart, but with tongue I didn't say. Allah will bring the slate in front of them. It was a law. Going to be hanged over into the necks of those munafiq who used to say, we used to love Rasulullah, we used to love Ali. Now, such and such date, what did you do with the Ali? Did you have that same love? It will be shown in front of the people. And they have no option or no chance to say that we love Ali. Because you did not love Ali at all. You had no intention even to love Ali ibn Abi Talib. And when one comes to the love of Ali ibn Abi Talib, automatically he or she is away from the sins. Because no, it's not possible that one has got the love of Ali ibn Abi Talib and committing a sin as well alongside. Because on one place, the love of Ali and the sins cannot be gathered, you know. Because they have, there are two different ways, either the way of Shaitan or way of Ali, the way of Bilayat. That's it. The way of Bilayat is the way of Allah. The way of Bilayat is the way of Nubuwa. If one is saying that first we love 
Rasulullah, okay, love Rasulullah. But Rasulullah's love is based upon Ali. If you say the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, did you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How, how are you going to love Allah? Allah says, if you're going to love Ali, then come to me. I won't accept anything except once you love, start loving Ali ibn Abi Talib, then I will accept everything from you. And this is a plenty of rewards and you know stories about Ali ibn Abi Talib. Now you start claiming them they are not true and such and such thing. Say that. But the Quran says absolutely openly that that the love for Ali ibn Abi Talib is not wajib, it's awj. If you're not going to love Ali ibn Abi Talib, you will do the zarar to yourself. And alhamdulillah, the ayah which says, People, ulama says that some people try to actually deviate this ayah that illa is not the illa muttasila. But the ulama has actually proven through that, with the examples of the Quran, that this illa is muttasil. With the sentence previously explained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all know that mawaddat and muhabbat is two different things. It's not, whenever it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala try to explain them muhabbat, it means one should have a muhabbat, but it cannot be said like that he is completely obeying Ali ibn Abi Talib. When you say mawaddat, it means from head to toe, we follow Ali. Wherever Ali goes, we have to follow. And this is what how the Mawaddat actually creates a new passion, a new love, a new enthusiasm towards Ali ibn Abi Talib. This is what Rasulullah asking for. Then the love with Ali ibn Abi Talib and Ahl Bayt is going to be completed. But from head to toe, our actions and deeds are followed to the actions and deeds of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And inshallah, we are trying our best. We are not ma'asum, we are not infallibles. We can make mistakes, but learning from mistakes by mistakes, this is one of the quality of a mu'min as well. That we make mistakes and inshallah, we try to abstain from those mistakes, rectify those problems. What is actually creating a hurdle between Ali ibn Abi Talib and the followers of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And hopefully that we are going to uh, take control over to our mistakes. And this majalis is one of the foundations for the wilaya. This majalis are here to solve those problems. The problems of not committing a sin by any mean. By not doing a ghibah but not lying to someone. And one is lying to someone uh, until or unless he has a khawf or fear of being, uh, you know, dying, then the lying is haram as we all know. And that's what we learn from Ahl Bayt Ali Musalam. One, if the women are listening upstairs, the mu'minat, they must actually teach the kids because we are also in a learning stage. We are, we are not masoom. So we all learn and teach our kids that how to, you know, tell the truth to the people. That's what actually creates a love for Ahlul Bayt. Because if we have some sort of thing which we don't want to tell the truth to someone, then that's gonna stop us, you know, uh, loving Ahlul Bayt. Because at one place, as I said, Two things cannot come together and go together. Because where the love of Ahl al-Bayt would be, there wouldn't be any shaitan there. And this is these are the sifat of the shaitan. And alhamdulillah, we the believers of Ahl al-Bayt are away from this, uh, these sins. Inshallah, I'll try to continue, but uh, as the time is uh, uh, reaching towards Maghrib, and uh, inshallah, our Brother is going to recite the uh, latam, inshallah, for us. 
Um, I will try to explain a few other narrations, inshallah, tomorrow. Wa sallallahu alayka ya mawlai Ya aba abdillah Wa sallallahu alayka ya abna rasoolillah Turn off the lights, please, if you don't mind. Wa sallallahu alayka ya mawlai يا أبا الفضل الأباس ابن أمير المؤمنين كما يروي الصدوق في الآمال فلما أراد العباس أن يبرز إلى الميدان قال له الحسين مر على العقيلة وسلم عليها قبل خروجك يعلم الحسين إن فقد العباس عظ الله يقول الأزري على اللسان الحال الإمام على الحسين عليه السلام بعد مقتل العباس عليه السلام اليوم آل إلى تفرق جمعنا اليوم حل من البنود نظامها اليوم خر من الحداية من الجداية بدرها اليوم غاب عن بلاد غمامها اليوم نامت عين بكلام تنم وتسحدت أخرى فعز منامها فعلم هنا الأباس أنها الوداية فلن يعود يربي عن إمام الصادق عليه السلام أنه قال فدخل العباس على قيلة في قيمتك إز بزينا مهتضنا وطد القيمة وطد القيمة ودموعها تجري فسعل العباس أخي أجزعتي أجزعتي قالت والله ما جزعت ولكن يعز علي فراق يا بلفاظ بينما هو على هذا الحال وإذا بأطفال القسين القسين حول العباس يسيحون عما عما على العتاش على العتاش يا عما أقبلت مولاتنا سكينة بالرضي وقد ضلع لسانه على شفتيه من شدة الظما قالت يا عام والله قد جف قد جف لبن من صدر أمه وخاف عن يموت أخذت زينب رضي وبيده وبيدها قربة وعاطت القربة للعباس أجركم الله فقال الحسين أخي لا طاقة لي أن أرى كلاب السواد وخنازيره ترد الفراد وأرى بنات رسول الله يموتون من الظما أخي إذن لي إذن لي بالقتال قال يا أبا الفاز أنت كباش أنت كباش كتيبتي وحزام ظهري وحامل لواي إذا قتلت قال جمعنا إلى الشطار وإمارتنا إلى الخراب ونزل الدموع أبي عبد الله على خديه قال له الحسين كان ولا بد فاطلب لحاولاء الأطفال شربة الماء ثم ودع الأباس الحسين 
والزینب خرج العباس الاطفال الحسین ينادونا اما العتش العتش و كان عملته اخيرا فأخذ الرأي وقربته وأقبل على القوم فنادى يا شيعة على بسفيان هذا الحسين بن علي وابن فاطمة أمره إلي وأما الماء فإني وارده إن شاء الله تعالى وأنا ابن عمير المؤمنين فحجم على القوم يقاتل قتال الأبطال قلب الميمن على الميسرة والميسرة على الميمنة وقلب على الجناحين قاس في أوساط خرج من عراض ملك الميدان وجدل الفرسان ضج من كثرة القتل فالراس خاليا من بين يدي الله الله رفع الماء قرب شفتيك فتذكر عتش الغزال فبكى وأبي أن يشرب فنظر الماء وهو يقول يا نفس من بعد الغسين من بعد الغسين هوني وبعده لا كنت إن تكوني هذا الغسين بارد المنون وتشربين بارد المعين تلاك ما هذا فعال ديني ولا فعال صادق اليقين الله الله ولانة الله على القوم الظالمين وصيانم الذين ظلموا ايام قلبي قلبي ينقلبون يا ابا الفاضل يا ابا الفاضل يا ابا الفاضل اخي لا تم خمس دقائق لا خمس دقائق يا حسين